the sun that is mother Be kind to your friends from the storm For the weather is cold and damp Be kind to your friends at the pond For that goose may be some bird's brother Be kind to the frogs and those with the fins So they want you to come back again to your web-footed friends For a duck may be somebody's mother Be kind to your friends from the swamp Where the weather is cold and damp Now you may think it's the end Well it is! Sean and his friends continued the journey walking across the beach carrying a bag of tools so as to create something to get themselves round. Beside them was a track, along with a road. It gave them some hope of finding a ride, only on the tracks. That was one eye for the farmer, only he wouldn't believe it. Bitzer happened to look back. I see an engine coming, he said after a minute. The sense says it's got petrol smoke and it smells. Pew! Engine with petrol smoke? Uh-oh, said Sean. That must be diesel heading this way. It was diesel. He saw them when he stopped. Hello, Sean. We don't often see you in Tasmania, said Diesel. We're heading to Tirana, said Bitzer. Are you busy? Yes, I am. I got the fish to take to that pub just behind you, said Diesel. He zoomed away. I knew he was busy, said Sean. We'll keep walking till another comes. So they continued on. Rosie, the pink engine, was heading to Tirana. She wanted to see what was in the top middle of the woody hills. It's a lovely day for me to visit the seaside, she puffed. Seeing the top middle of the woodland is what you haven't seen for years, Rosie said the driver. You like it? As she crossed the beach of Damani, she noticed a flock of sheep with a dog. Hello. What are they doing here? She asked herself. She stopped to find out. Hello, she said to the flock. Who are you? I'm Sean the Sheep, and this is my flock. With bits of the dog. Hello. I'm Rosie. What are you doing at the beach? asked Rosie. We're heading to Tirana. It's a long walk. Plus we need to look out for animal catchers. Sean told her the secret of getting here without a boat. Rosie understood the case. She remembered helping Chines without anyone knowing about his trouble with taking war tools. You can say it's a mile, 
said Rosie. So, I think I can help you, only I'll be taking you back when you're finished with your holiday. It's Mossy Bottom Farm, that's where we live in, said one sheep. If only we can beat the farmer home. We don't want him to know we're missing. Hop in then. We'll stick together and make a secret, said Rosie. They climbed into Rosie's cab, then set off. Trying to miss a police car who was out on patrol. Under cover of their run, they went through the woods. How clever the sheep were to get a ride instead of the long walk. Rosie looked around her to see what they meant about any animal catcher. She told them they were not about till the earth picked up a wailing sound. She looked back, letting her eyes pick up a car with two flashing lights. That's odd, she said. I said there are no animal catchers, but there's a police car just on our tail. <coughs> the flock oh hid in the bottom part of the cab. So did Bitzer. The police car came closer to Rosie till he was level enough to make a claim. <laughs> Stop! shouted an officer. Uh -oh. Rosie, realizing he wanted the sheep, began running. She knew her friends would get in trouble if they would get taken away. What's going on? she asked Sean. That police car is wanting you to stop, but we don't want to get arrested. If he takes us to the animal pound, which is on Tasmania, we'll be given to anyone else. Rosie's story did inside him, so went inside to shake off the police car. Phew! Now tell the truth. What were you coming here for? We were liking to tour the country so as to learn new discoveries. We don't mean any harm to any human, but they think we do, said Sean. They also think we came here by boat. As stowaways, put in Bitzer. If we asked someone to look after us and keep our secrets safe, we'll be all right. But no, like Sean says meaning, we're on a hunting list chain. Bitzer came with us so he can be our guide, Sean also put in. Hmm, it sounds like you're on a hiding adventure, said Rosie. We might need a way to get out of trouble. What's that you got? Oh, this? That's a bag of tools. We were thinking of using them on our holiday when we want to go roading. 
said Sean. We still have to stick together, said one sheep. The only thing we need to do is follow the speed signs. I see where you're getting ideas, said Rosie. I beg your pardon, though, but are you into making when you mentioned when you want to go roading? Yes, we are, said Sean. That's also a secret, and we'll hide the van when we make it. I see, said Rosie. Come on now. I think we've lost a police car. They got out of the siding and continued on. <laughs> After a mile, they came to the woodland of Tirana. Rosie looked around for the police car again. She knew it had gone to the police station in New Bina, which was nearby. She had to stay with the dog and sheep because of secrets they have made. Another thing she also knew is the police have police dogs. Um, we may need to be careful with police dogs too. They can sniff us out, said Rosie. What about your steam? said Sean. Anyone will follow that to find us easily. I know, said Rosie. Why don't you try something to make me row with no steam? Sean remembered the wand. Of course, Rosie. They won't find us when I use it. So he put out Rosie's fire and used a spell to make her row with no steam. It was only just this once. They went to the woodland quietly. After climbing up, they found the top clearing. There were some huts. They were perfect to stay in. The sheep and dog settled with setting up the things they packed, mainly food which Sean kept for later. Rosie stayed to look about the woodland top. It looks like I'll be here for a while, she thought. But she still remembered to avoid the police. They know nothing about the buffers because they don't believe in magic. Footed fans, for a duck may be somebody's mother. Be kind to your friends from the swamp, where the weather is cold and damp. Be kind to your friends at the pond, for that goose may be some bird's brother. Be kind to the frogs and those with the fins, so they want you to come back again. Be kind to your web-footed friends, for a 
dark, maybe somebody's mother. Be kind to your friends from the swamp, where the weather is cold.